Uh, hello, this is DBT, and alright, we're back on track, so let's continue recording this. Um, I was playing Dream of Magic, that's what I'll continue playing, of course. Um, okay. I don't even remember what was I saying last time when I was in here, but I remember I just um, got a secret there, and I was supposed to run on this place. Now, you might notice that there are some... Wait a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah. Where was I? I forgot again. Oh, look, there's a key finder. Um, the swamp key. Now... Oh, yeah, I was, I was gonna say that perhaps you have noticed, but... Or maybe you haven't. Oh, come on, I killed myself. Um, that actually over here, I'm, I mixed um, Hexen and Hexen 2's textures. Because, I mean... I didn't remember it. And I'm about, about to die. Ah, ah. Yeah, I forgot the key. Um, yeah, so I mixed the textures because actually they kind of fit with each other. So yeah, I thought, why not? And that's why this weapon is so useful. And I just gotta stop. Now that I think about it, I haven't even used my resurrection skills, so perhaps I should. Oh, so as you see, there's a lot of um, these things, the uh, disc of repulsions everywhere. Let me save. And health and everything, because I... I basically, when I made this mod, I, I wanted to ensure one thing, that it's not, it was not gonna be exactly like Hex. Okay. <coughs> remember what this is for but anyway um i didn't want it to be exactly like hexen because i mean hexen is a really good game in my opinion but it's also kind of confusing because there's a lot of puzzles oh yeah you see what you get this thing to grab that power up you just need to run and there you go um yeah so uh, basically i wanted to make it a little bit more uh, action oriented or whatever you say that um so i threw on Threw in a lot of monsters. I got the swamp key. I don't even remember where to go. I need. Um, I put a lot of monsters, and therefore I also wanted a lot of health. You know, just to not to make it especially difficult. Oh yeah, I remember that guy's mine. Swamp key. Where do I need the swamp key? Is it here? I'm not quite sure, but let's find out. Oh yeah, it was. Okay, that was luck. So yeah, you see, there's a, there's more monsters than what you could find in Hexen, um, in Hexen, the original game. So, and I didn't want it to be especially difficult. I wanted I wanted it to be fun. Oh look, there's a secret right here. You hear it? It's coming down. You just don't see it. You just gotta wait for it. Someday. Yeah, I made it so it would take a long time. There it is. <laughs> yeah, if you're not fast enough, it goes back. So, yeah. Just a little secret. Oh, let's see, there's polyobject doors. Oh, right, right there. Yeah, sometimes they're easy to use, sometimes they're not. Well, I mean, as it is right now, I believe it's much easier because of what I mentioned um, in the other video. Uh, that they got somehow fixed. But, um, back in the day, at least for me, it was complicated. <laughs> You know, now that I see it, um, also I was saying that the, in the other video, that I find the effects kind of like outdated. I guess I could spice them up, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Um, once you get the um, biggest secret over here, in this, um, uh, in this episode, it's not mu of much use. Eventually you'll see what it is. But um, basically that secret, of course, is not going to be saved for next. Oh yeah, you can pass here. I made that on purpose too. Just so you go like, okay, why, why? Anyway. Oh, because th there's another weapon right there. So yeah, that's it. The target. Um, so yeah, once you get this secret, and you get what you get, you're simply unable to um, 
let's say I make episode 2 well it wouldn't matter because you would start pretty much from scratch in episode 2 so what I wanted to do is um, once I have at least another episode done um, to, to merge them it would be kind of pointless in the way that you in the sense that you will need to play everything again in order to get the secret and all that but um, at least that way you would keep what you get at the end it's I mean in the secret it's not like it's the best thing ever but it's kind of something and it's a reward for finding the secret because it's not so extremely easy to find um, we'll get to that so I don't even remember what am I supposed to do here I'm just like going blind and hoping I find something um, yeah I don't remember at all maybe there was nothing here yeah there's a lot of places where you don't actually get to do anything special don't ask me why is this a big refrigerator with a wooden door but anyway how do I get there I don't remember Oh, yeah, I gotta go over here to the most... Oh, Jesus. I gotta go over here. And... I made this place to be annoying. I know there's people that think uh, that one should not do this. You see, it's a maze. With, um, without a map, you don't have a map. Well, I mean, you have the map, but it doesn't show anything. So. Yeah, they say it's annoying, and I can agree, but that was like the whole point. That's one of the things that I would like to do. Um, uh, there's a cheat now, or not? It's actually not a cheat. It's more like an option in GC2 to avoid this, so that it always will show the, the map. Um, I think it kills the purpose in certain situations because you see this um, this is a maze uh, with uh, teleporters so it becomes more and more annoying oh look that's a big error right there anyway the idea is to get lost here lost it sounded like I said lots where am I going oh, look you see that's, that's what I'm talking about you get kind of lost and you say, okay, I don't know where am I going, where am I going? And actually right now I find it kind of fun in the, in the sense that back in the day when I um, when I made this, I knew the, oh, look, I knew the way perfectly. One of these is actually fake. You can go through one of these to get the secret, but I don't remember which one. Um, of course, oh, here it is. I used to know perfectly the, the way. It was like, I can here, here, and there, and that's it. I don't remember that anymore because it's been seriously a long time. Um, I checked and indeed the mod was released in 2008. Um, oh look, I'm back here. <laughs> really, I don't remember how to get to the place where I should. I, I believe... Oh yeah, here it is. Um, I find this fun, but in a way I also understand that people would find it annoying. So, yeah, I guess, I guess it's okay then. I cannot do that anymore. Um, there was something in here too. Now that I think about it, I, I added a couple things that I kind of like, you know? I mean, sure, the mod is not great, but I don't think it's bad either. Over here you get to do something, I don't remember why. Oh, you get a key right right here, but I, don't, I, I guess you open it from a different place or something. Okay, mm. yeah, oh, okay, yeah, I gotta go here. Um, I think I had to hit a wall. Or not. Use a wall, maybe? Oh, yeah, there it is. Now I don't know what to do. Okay, whatever that was for. No, really, what, what was I supposed to... Oh, that opened this place. No. The switches. Okay, okay, now I remember. Some give you power-ups. 
summoners bring some monsters. You know what? Let me save. I remember one of these is a foul trick. And apparently it's the last one. Okay, I cannot even use this one, I don't know why. If I remember correctly, um, one of these actually teleported you back to the start of the level. Yeah, that's that's kind of a breaking move of mine. Oh well. But what key did I get then? I just grabbed a key, didn't I? Uh, what does it say? Oh, it, of course, they don't show it here. I don't know what I, what did I get? Damn. Hey, what was that? Huh, look. This is kind of up. Hmm. That's serious seriously weird. So. Seriously, you can open this from the side? Um, huh. be right back. I gotta check something because I'm not sure I'm following the right um the right way. Be right back. All right, and I'm back. I just verified. Um, that's what I get for not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, over here I spawned the um the rust rusted key, and over here it asked me for the silver key. I'm not supposed to open this. The reason why I could open it from the side is because um I made a mistake right here in this line this other line um, they do require a key but they require the uh, swamp key so that that was a stupid mistake of mine so what I'm just gonna do is not open it I'm gonna try to follow actually the way I should have so I got the rusted key I just gotta figure out where to use it um, rusted key I really don't remember but uh, well I would have known. <laughs> yeah, basically I had to open the map in Doom, Doom Builder 2 just to verify what what was spawning and all that. So I'm trying to find I saw in the map that there is a secret um, that I didn't quite remember. But I don't know how to get there. Like seriously, I don't know. And I'm gonna try. But I really have to fix that um, that thing if I ever Oh yeah, that's what I was saying a little while ago. That, um... Oh, I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. Um, if I ever plan to release a second episode, I will go ahead and... Um, fix all these little things. Oh, look at that! Okay, so that's how you get there. Okay. And of course, now that you're here, not blocked anymore. Yeah. And I'm just. Now oh, let's grab it. Nice. I'll try it in a second. I just want to make sure there's nothing else I can use over here. Nice. And oh, it's a flamethrower. Okay. All right. So I got the rust, um, rusted key. I don't know where to use it. Let me go ahead and try to find. Some place to use. So yeah, as you can see, actually that other map I just um, exited out from, whatever. Um, you already pretty much saw everything on that map. It's not that big at all. I'm telling you, these maps are not big. Is it here? Oh yeah, here it is. This is where I needed that rust. resurrected that guy to help me and he ain't helping me helping me that much. So you know what? Fuck everyone. You see that's also a plan um thing I did here. The second weapon you get it freezes the monsters, which means that you will not be able to resurrect them. So if you want to resurrect the monsters, you're pretty much bound to um, kill them with uh, your sickle. 
Or in this case, now that I got the other weapon, you can use that one too. Which, by the way, I don't know why I wasn't using. Is this guy mine? No. Um, when I was working on Unions of Death, somebody uh, gave me um, a very neat idea. Actually, they, I think they called it. Um, about putting some sort of marker on the monsters that you resurrected, and that way you know which ones are yours. Yeah, I think that that would be pretty pretty helpful. Really not knowing which monsters are yours is kind of a downside. So you end up killing everyone, whether they're your friends or not. You kill your friends. You see, it, it might not be extremely detailed, but I'm kind of liking this map, you know, I, I 